Hey guys and welcome to my unboxing of my Halloween items that I got from Lush. Sorry this video is a bit late um, but I had um, the delivery actually arrived quite late. I think they're just so busy. And then one item arrived broken so I wanted to wait until the new one arrived. And also I missed something so then I asked for that as well. So I'll show you the items that I got. I didn't get everything. I didn't go crazy like I went last year. I think last Last year I got absolutely everything um, so if you're interested in seeing that video um, I'll tag it at the end of this one and some of these items I have already reviewed as well so don't forget to check out my channel if you're curious about any particular item that was out last year and first of all what do you think of this knot wrap I absolutely love it this isn't in the current knot wrap selection available but I found this one on a selling site and I just absolutely love the design of it so I saved it for Halloween and I must admit I am so tempted by some of the current knot wraps the, the cat one and there's one that's the haunted forest I love that and there's one where the pumpkin's eyes glow in the dark and I just thought oh I've already got this one do I need any more but I am seriously tempted so let me know if you've got any of the knot wraps and what you think about them and I've also got my two um, wax melters here so I've got my little cauldron and my little pumpkin face and what I'm going to do is I've actually got the pumpkin wax melt so I can always put this in at the end just to see what it's like I might have to move the pumpkin though because my camera keeps focusing on his face so he might disappear if the camera doesn't focus. So let me grab my items and I'll show you what I got. This is the little lady that caused all the trouble. She arrived broken without her body and I really wanted to show her in her full form and also I'm going to do a demo on her as well. So I contacted Lush, they were brilliant, they sent out another one and then I'd also forgotten to order the um, Lush Melt and I asked if I could add that to the order and once again Lush, so kind, they apologised for this being broken and they gave me the Lush Melt for free so that was a lovely surprise so thank you very much Lush I do appreciate that so this one is called Screaming Banshee and yeah it's very well done it does look like the Screaming Banshee from the film and this one is £3.50 and this I believe is Space Girl scented so I will as I said I will be doing a demo on this so the ingredients on this one are bergamot oil, grapefruit oil, almond essential oil, apple powder, fine sea salt and it's got popping candy and gardenia extract so yeah I do like this one the only thing I worry about again is it is a small one so I will give it a go and see what I think. And then the next item I got is called the Monster Octopus Shower Jelly. And I believe this was out two years ago, but that's before I was a Lush fan. So last year we had the Tarantula, which I thought was brilliant. And this year, this one is back. And this one says, lather up in the winter cool suds of blackcurrant and vanilla absolutes and feel ready to take on any treacherous voyage. This one is £10.50. So I have noticed that the prices are creeping up and that's another reason why I didn't buy everything so it just cost me an absolute fortune. I don't want to get it out of the pot here because the jelly juice will go everywhere but I'll cut to the bathroom and then I can show it to you in my hand. But let's have a smell. So it mentions blackcurrant on the ingredients but to me it smells like sort of like vanilla, strawberry, sweets, that sort of thing. It smells absolutely lovely. So I really like the smell of this one. And don't forget with the jellies as well, you can use it as a soap, you can use it to make bubble bath, you can put them in the freezer. So oh, it's actually really hot here at the moment. Believe it or not, our summer has finally arrived. So yeah, it's September and summer is here, but I think it's only staying for a week. This summer has been awful. Um, but I'm making the most of it and yeah so you can put these jellies in the freezer and then use it to cool you down as well. So ingredients in this are fresh passion fruit infusion, 
carrageenan extract perfume vanilla absolute you can definitely smell the vanilla black currant absolute sweet wild orange oil tagiti's oil and i think yeah that's the main sense and on the back of each pot or bottle there's always a sticker and if you peel back the sticker there is a saying so let's see what this one says so this one says the jelly the myth the legend right, so i'm in the bathroom now with the monster octopus so i'm just going to plop it out on my hand oh it's really jelly like and yeah, really squidgy. It smells lovely. I love the scent of it. Just get your little tentacle leg out. There you go. So how cool is that? So yeah, I just think it's great. Great fun for kids as well. And yeah, it feels quite moisturising. So you can see like the oils on my fingers there. But yeah, I really like this. So I'm going to enjoy using this little guy. And yeah, let me know if you've got this as well. I know, I think it was very popular last time and now I can see why. Well, let's pop you back in your pot. Okay, and then the next item I got, and I had to get it because I really like this shower scrub, is the Toil and Trouble. And this says it's a witch's cauldron with herbal shower scrub. Wash away your problems after a hard day's work. And I have done a separate review on this because this was out last year and I must admit I took a gamble getting this because I don't normally like lavender but this has peppermint in as well and I absolutely love the scent of this so I don't pick up the lavender scent too much it's more minty but with a herbal sort of background it's actually a lovely lovely scent so if you don't like lavender it's definitely worth giving this a try so this is what it looks like inside so it's a very dark purple scrub and when you get it you'll notice it's not filled to the top of the pot because it's all done by weight and then you also get some jelly bats in here as well so here are the bats so you can use those to clean yourself with but yeah if you want more detailed review then don't forget to check out my other video some ingredients in here are lavender flower infusion, peppermint infusion, labdomen resinoid, oris oil, patchouli oil, sage oil, carrageenan extract, perfume, and those are the main scent notes. To me, it sort of reminds me, I don't know why, but it reminds me of the Bat Art bath bomb. So it's like fruity, but with a herbal background. And then obviously this has got the mint in as well. So yeah, I really like this. And then on the back of the pot it says fire burn and cauldron bubble. And the next item I got, and this is the Lord of Mithril soap. And this is new out this year. I didn't buy everything in the Lord of Mithril range because it is massive. I did get a few things. I don't always like Lord of Mithril, so I love the shower gel. Um, and I thought I would like the soap. I didn't get the bath bomb this year. And there's quite a few other things. I didn't get the bubble bar. But if you like the Lord of Mithril scent, the bubble bar is definitely worth getting because last year, the labyrinth bubble bar I think I got five baths out of that because it really does last because the scent is really strong and the scent on this is also really strong and my friend that I've introduced to Lush absolutely loves this scent it's so far her favorite Lush scent that she's tried and my boyfriend loves Lord of Misrule as well so it's got this lovely pattern on the front and then it's plain green on the back and this soap is six pounds for 100 grams. And this is vanilla, patchouli and black pepper scented. So if you like this scent, then definitely, I would definitely give this a go because it smells really strong. And with the shower gel, the first time I smelled the shower gel, I really didn't like it at all. All I could smell was pepper. But it's one of those shower gels that you've got to get it out of the bottle and try it in the, in the shower or the bath. Or, or maybe go into a shop and try a demo in the sink. But yeah, I really like the shower gel now. And also it is quite moisturising as well. So I would recommend it. And then the next item I ordered is the Pumpkin Crumble Bubble Bar. And I absolutely love this scent. And if you look inside the middle, it's got like butter in the middle there. So I imagine this is also going to be really moisturising. And it is quite big. So um, I can see that you can get quite a few baths from this one 
And as you can see, it's not flat on the back either. So it is, it is big and it really does look like a pumpkin and it looks really edible as well. So do not eat the bubble bar. And then ingredients in here, you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, perfume, grapefruit oil, juniper berry oil, lime oil, pumpkin puree, fair trade shea butter, and those are the main scent notes. So this is like a sparkly pumpkin scent. So if you like that scent, you'll like this bubble bar. I love this scent. It's a very fruity warming scent. So if you like that sort of scent, then I definitely recommend this. And then the next item I got is a 555 gram bottle of the Lord of Misrule shower gel. Um, I didn't go mad because I still have um, a bottle on the go at the moment, but I just thought I need to get another one because then it will last all year until next year. I have so many shower gels, I don't need any more really, but I did get this one because my boyfriend also loves it too. And then the next item I got is Jason's Mummy Bath Bomb. And this one is ectoplasm scented, so it's a really refreshing fruity scent. And also apparently this one glows in the dark, so I'll see if I can get some footage. I think around the eye area it glows, so I will do my best to get some footage for you. This one is £4.50 and it weighs 130 grams. And the ingredients in this one are tangerine oil, grapefruit oil, litse cubeba oil, and luminescent zinc sulfide. So yeah, let's see if I can get some footage. And also there's some perfume too. But yeah, I love the design of this one. It's really cute. So here's the bath bomb glowing in the dark. Um, I couldn't do it on my camera because it was just glowing up pink. So this is on my phone. You can see his little eyes. And then the next item I got is the Bonehead Bubble Bar. And this one's quite heavy actually, it's 160 grams and this costs £6.50. And what I would say is that if you can't afford the bath bombs, because don't forget a lot of the bath bombs are just single use, then go for the bubble bars because you can get a few uses out of them. I mean this one you could probably get four, maybe five baths from it, but I love the design of it, I love his face. And this one has a really minty scent, so yeah, really refreshing scent. So in this one you have fine sea salt, perfume, spearmint, oil, and that's the main scent. So yeah, it's just really minty, but yeah, I really like it. And then the next item I ordered, and I honestly don't need any more soaps because I've got plenty to get through, but I couldn't resist getting this one. And this is the Demon in the Dark soap, and I know some of you are really excited about it. And this is a scent I haven't tried before, so I was really curious because I thought I would like it. And also this ghost glows in the dark as well, so I'll see if I can get some footage of that. And I have seen on Instagram a picture of the big slab of the soap, and it looks really cool because it has skulls in it and these ghosts. It looks really, really good. I wish I could get to a shop to see it. So this one is actually 100 grams and it's five pounds. So it is cheaper than the Lord of Misrule soap. And then the ingredients on this one are fair trade organic cocoa butter, extra virgin coconut oil, organic apple juice, peppermint oil, spearmint oil, clove bud oil, gardenia extract, and then the luminescent zinc sulfide. But to me, it smells like fruity, minty. So if you like those sort of scents, I reckon you'll like this. And I do like the scent of this. In fact, I can't decide which one's gonna go in the bathroom next, either this one or the Lord of Misrule. It might actually be this one, I think, just for something different. And then this is the Demon in the Dark Soap. I've got a feeling as the soap wears away on top here, um, I think it will glow a bit more, but I think it's covered by the other ingredients, perhaps. And the next item, and this is a classic, um, I had it last year, and this is the Ghost in the Dark soap. Um, my friend absolutely loved this soap, and she was really disappointed when she used it up. Um, this has a really refreshing lemongrass scent, and this also glows in the dark as well, so sometimes when you go in the bathroom late at night, it will be sitting there glowing in the soap dish, which I think is really cool. And this one is six pounds for 100 grams. So the ingredients on this one are fair trade organic cocoa butter, extra virgin coconut oil, organic castor oil, luminescent zinc sulfide, perfume, lemongrass oil, bergamot oil, and those are the main scent notes. So as I said, really refreshing scent. 
So definitely the best one glowing in the dark so far is the Ghost in the Dark Soap. So that glows up really well. Okay, and then the next item is slightly damaged on his face, but it's only a little bit that's fallen off. Um, and this is the Pumpkin Pumpkin Bath Bomb. And this is one of my favorite bath bombs, so I had to get one. It does feature in my top 10 bath bombs video. And this is a lovely warming fruity scent again. So yeah, this is just perfect for autumn Halloween. And I love the, um, I love the effect in the bath as well, because the face lasts quite a long time. I have done a demo on this, so if you're wondering about whether to get it or not, then just check out my demo. So this one is now £5.50. I'm sure it was £5 last year. I've noticed that a lot of things have crept up in price by 50p. So yeah, it all mounts up in the end, doesn't it? So the ingredients on this one are cinnamon leaf oil, and I love cinnamon. Lime oil, sweet wild orange oil, Sicilian red mandarin oil, pumpkin powder, and perfume. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. So I couldn't resist getting another one to try. And then the next item I got, and this is probably the strongest smelling item in the whole box, is the pumpkin spice. And this is a bath melt, or you can use it as like a wax melt as well. So before the end of this video, I'm going to pop a little square in my burners and just see what I think of it. Um, I haven't had a good track record with these melts, so a lot of them irritated me. Um, the Snow Fairy one was absolutely fine, but some of the other ones really irritated my eyes and my throat. So I'm really hoping that this one doesn't. And what I plan to do as well is I'm going to give a square or two to my friend so that she can try it too. So these are now £6.50. I'm sure they used to be £6. And the ingredients on this are fair trade organic cocoa butter, perfume, almond oil, cinnamon leaf oil, clove bud oil, ginger absolute, organic jojoba oil, organic pumpkin seed oil. And this does smell very spicy, very pumpkin spice. And also it's really soft too. That's why I'm holding it by the label because it is really soft in this weather. So yeah, it's really covered in shimmer too. There you go, I've just pulled off the label a bit so you can see it shimmering away. So yeah, if you use this in the bath, I imagine it would be quite glittery too. And I'm all for a bit of glitter. So I will try this in a second and see what I think. There you go, you can just see just from holding it for a couple of seconds, I've really got shimmer on my fingers. And then the next item I got is the Screamo Bath Bomb. And this is a returning item, but the design is different this year. So last year it really did look like the mask from the film Scream. So I wonder if there was an issue with that perhaps, because now it's a more basic design. I definitely prefer the other one because it just looks so good. But this one has like a cherry scent and it's five pounds and it weighs 100 grams and the ingredients on this are benzoin resinoid, ylang ylang oil, almond essential oil and perfume so this has a lovely sweet scent I do like this and also on my channel I do have a demo of the one from last year if you want to see what it's like Right, so I've just snapped off one square and um, this is really soft at the moment because it's quite hot here and I have popped it in this little cauldron so you can see it bubbling away and it looks really pretty and glittery and I have to say I'm really liking the scent so far. So it smells really autumnal and warming and yeah, fingers crossed, I really hope that it doesn't irritate my throat or my eyes like some of the other wax melts have. I have reviews of um, all the wax melts and candles so you can check out that video too. But yeah, I'm liking the scent of this a lot at the moment so if it doesn't irritate me I'd probably be very tempted to get another one. And then another item which I highly recommend is the Sparkly Pumpkin Shower Slime. And this again is like a fruity but warming scent. So it also has a slime-like texture. I have reviewed this in a separate video, so check that out if you want to. And this is really fun for adults and for children as well because it is really slimy. But you just use it like shower gel. Um, and also I find that this goes a really long way. I'm I'm currently using the ectoplasm slime at the moment. I only need a tiny bit because I get so much lava. So yeah, I'd highly recommend this. And it says come back to life with this sparkling citrus and spicy juniper berry cleanse. 
This isn't an item that I've bought this year. Um, this is from last year, so I haven't got another one. But if you like the Lord of Misrule scent, then I definitely recommend this because this is quite strong. Um, I personally find it a little bit too strong because I don't like everything that's Lord of Misrule. But if you do like it, I'd highly recommend picking this up as well. So that's everything that I've got so far this year. Um, let's see if I get tempted by anything else. As I said, um, these soaps, I think, are lovely. So I'm looking forward to trying those. And I, I love these. I think I love all of these scents, to be honest with you. So if anything is really nice, I might go back and then I might be tempted by a knot wrap. So <laughs> we'll see. And if I do get anything else, then I will show you. Um, but I am trying to be good at the moment. So let me know what you got, if you tried any of these items, if your order's arrived, and let me know if you've tried the Lush Melt as well and what you think about it. But thank you very much for watching this video. I will be doing a review of the Christmas items, so I will be placing an order for those as well. And a lot of these things I do have reviews on if they are not new this year. And of course, I will do demos on the bath bombs as and when I use them. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will catch you on another video and happy Halloween.